This girl was mute and innocent, and everywhere she went, guys took advantage of her and exploited her. Either forcefully or at gunpoint. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. In today's video, we'll be recapping the events of a thriller drama movie from 1981, titled Ms. 45. Let's get right into it. The scene opens at a garment shop owned by a man named Steve. Steve is a designer by profession, and he designs very unique dresses for his customers. Steve has many employees in his shop and one of them is a young girl named Mary. Mary is really beautiful and innocent but she was mute from birth. After work, all the employees leave for their homes and Mary goes to the supermarket to buy some items. Meanwhile, a thief named Jackie is breaking into Mary's house and he begins looking for money. On the other hand, Mary completes her shopping and begins heading home, when a random guy drags her into a deserted alley. He first holds Mary at gunpoint and then begins assaulting her. Mary is unable to shout as she is mute, and she can't think clearly because of the tragic event. Once the assaulter releases his poison, he leaves Mary stranded on the ground and runs away. Mary is shaken by the incident and somehow heads home, where Jackie couldn't find any money, as Mary is poor and lives alone. When Mary returns and sits on the couch, still recollecting herself, she sees Jackie the thief in front of her. Jackie too aims a gun at her and asks for money. When he learns that Mary is broke, he too begins assaulting Mary at gunpoint. This poor girl got assaulted twice in one hour by these thirsty men. While Jackie was doing the deed, Mary manages to grab a paperweight. But she waits till Jackie lets go of his gun and then hits him with a paperweight. Mary then quickly picks up the iron and hits it on Jackie's head, killing him on the spot. She was somehow able to get rid of her assaulter, but now she doesn't know what to do. After thinking for a while, Mary decides to put the dead body in the bathtub. However, she still has Jackie's gun in the open, and Mary is too stressed to care about that. The following day at work, Mary was ironing some clothes when she notices the cleaner with black plastic bags. She gets an idea and buys some plastic bags after work. She reaches home and soon begins cutting Jackie's dead body into pieces. There, Mary has no sign of hesitation on her face as she is starting to believe that all men are trash and they are bad for women. Mary puts the pieces of the dead body in plastic bags and hides them inside the refrigerator. She then cleans the bathtub as well as her house and gets rid of all the blood stains. Sometime later, Mary picks up two big bags to dispose of them and heads out. There, she meets her annoying landlord, Jessica, but Mary completely ignores her and goes outside. She throws the bags in the dustbin casually and continues walking towards the supermarket. The following day, Mary again heads out with a bag to dispose of it, but a man begins following her. He sees Mary leaving her bag by the side of the road, so he picks it up to return it and begins calling for Mary. However, Mary thinks that the guy saw what's inside the bag, so she begins running and ends up in a deserted alley. Remembering her past experiences, she gets scared and fires at the guy, dropping him dead on the spot. She used Jackie's gun for the murder, so she thinks she'll be safe as Jackie is no more. The scene then shifts to a beggar, asking pedestrians for food. Getting no help from anyone, he begins. Scrounging the dustbin and soon finds a bag. He opens it, hoping to find food, but gets shocked when he finds the hands of a dead body. Later, Mary was at work when Steve tells her about a costume party he is organizing. He invites Mary to the party and she writes a note to tell him that she'll try. Then, Mary comes outside and notices the headlines of the local newspaper. It states that there is a serial killer in the town and he is throwing human body parts in dustbins. The following day, Mary puts on some makeup and gets ready to go outside. She puts Jackie's gun in her bag and heads outside. She sees Jessica on the way, but she ignores her again and goes to the airport. Actually, she doesn't want to dispose of the body parts in the city anymore, so she puts the bag in a locker at the airport, and then leaves it there. She also gets rid of the key and begins making her way home. Unfortunately, some bad guys again see her and begin surrounding her. Mary realizes that these guys too probably want to exploit her, so she takes out Jackie's gun and kills all of them. She then continues walking home, but a car stops near her and the driver tells her that his boss will pay her handsomely. Mary thinks that the guy is just giving her a lift and gets in the car, but a sheik is sitting there. The sheik offers Mary cash if she can come to his place, but Mary takes out the gun and shoots the sheik. She then shoots the driver and goes home, where we see that she has gotten rid of most of Jackie's body. Mary hears Jessica's dog Tommy barking, so she thinks of a plan. She prepares a dish with Jackie's body and knocks on her landlord's door. She feeds the dish to Tommy. Then, we see that Mary only has two small bags and one big bag in her fridge. Today, she will be getting rid of the small bags, and she hides the last big bag in her cupboard. Mary then picks up the small bags and heads out through the window as she doesn't want Jessica to see her with bags. Actually, Jessica was starting to get suspicious, so she enters her apartment and begins looking for Mary. But since Mary wasn't home, she couldn't find her and Tommy picks up the smell of meat. 
So he runs around the apartment and even breaks a vase in the process. When Mary returns home, she realizes that Tommy was in her apartment and now he is a threat. So, she makes an excuse and takes Tommy out on a walk. Mary takes Tommy to the other part of the city and leaves him on the beach. She returns home and lies to Jessica that Tommy ran away from her. Then, she gets ready to attend Tommy's costume party. She is wearing the dress of a nun today and decides that she will shoot any man who tries to assault her. The scene cuts directly to the party and all the employees of the clothing store along with Mary are there. Most people were either dancing to the music or talking to their friends, but Mary was doing neither. On the other hand, Jessica breaks into Mary's apartment and begins looking for Tommy as she suspects that Mary is hiding something. She soon finds the big bag in the cupboard and thinks that Tommy is inside. However, when she opens it, she finds Jackie's head inside, so she begins screaming like crazy. She immediately calls the police and tells them about the bag she found in Mary's room. On the other hand, at the party, Steve was dancing with Mary, when he decides to shoot his shot and takes her upstairs. There, he wastes no time and begins kissing Mary's body, but she soon gets fed up and takes out the gun to kill him on the spot. Everyone stops as they hear a gunshot, and Mary comes downstairs to shoot any man she comes across. She has completely lost her mind now, and thinks that all men are her enemies, so she needs to finish them off. She thinks that by doing this, she will make an example and men will start fearing women, and will think twice before exploiting them. However, Mary's rampage soon comes to an end as another girl at the party stabs Mary with a knife. At the end of the movie, we see that Mary passed away due to the stabbing and Tommy somehow. Return to Jessica. That was it for the recap guys. Let us know in the comments what you think about Mary's story. She was exploited by men to the point that every man she came across looked at her like she was prey. So she naturally developed a feeling of hatred toward men. Feel free to start a discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.